Hidipo Hamba Shouyange, a former member of Central Committee, who is calling for the nullification of the elective convention, told NBC News that his faction had informed the ECN not to accept the list of Kavi Kotora. But Kavi Kotora is still adamant that he was duly elected president at the convention. As far as the presidential election uh, nominee is concerned, uh, we had a, a, a meeting, a central committee meeting in, uh, in Rundu uh, over the last weekend where I was nominated by the party to be the nominee for the presidential candidate uh, to run and compete for the presidential position of the country. Uh, as far as the, uh, the National Assembly is concerned, we also had a electoral college where we have elected uh, on about 80 comrades to be on the list of our parliament. So those are the two items that we brought here to the ACN. The group opposing the leadership of Kavi Kotora has instructed their lawyers to seek a court interdict to order for a rerun of the election. Despite the Kavikotora faction having submitted the documents to the ECN, the other group says it will have a convention in Ochuarongo this weekend to elect new leadership. However, Kavikotora, when he registered his candidature and a list of 80 names for National Assembly candidates, says he is not discouraged by the development. Moving to the next chapter, uh, that of uh, releasing our election money first all, and then hit the campaign. Certain things that we still need to, to polish on the manifesto. So I, I speak under correction because it's the Department of uh, Information and Communication of Comrade Kasumi, but I think in the course of next week, we'll have to launch our manifesto. The division in the RTP comes a week before the ECN closes the registration of political parties and presidential candidates on the 18th of October. Julana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.